Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to share something that's really neat and that is multi-touch gestures for iOS and you may have been familiar with uh, some of the gestures on like the MacBook for example using the, the swipe to use expose and so forth to see the desktop bring it back change uh, bring up your application bar and so forth and that's uh, it's going to be a similar thing that we're going to be able to enable on the iOS now this is not a jailbreak this is a feature that was made available in iOS, I believe, 4.0, and it was available only to developers before the consumer file was uh, was published. So here's what we're going to do. We had to first get Xcode on your computer, and the easiest way to do that is go down to your toolbar and open up your App Store. Next step is go ahead and search. Um, just type in Xcode on the top. Come to Xcode, and this is a $5 program. And just to let you know, it's uh, going to take a little while to download because it's like 4 gigabytes, this development toolkit. So it's a little bit overkill for our purposes, but this is how we get the feature that we're looking for. Okay, here I am clicking to install Xcode. Okay, and then after we click on installing Xcode, which also took a little bit of time because, again, it's a big program, uh, we installed it. And then when we open Xcode, we're on Xcode up here at the top, you'll be prompted with this window. Now, if you do not get this window, all you do is go up to go to Window, Organizer, and it's going to bring up what you see here. And I think I might have to go ahead and... Uh, you erase some of that private information there but here's what we do we just click on use for development and uh, by the way um, before doing all this obviously I needed to go ahead and plug in my iPad into my computer to get this to work I'll go ahead and now here's what here's what comes up and it says uh, oh well I'm not a developer I don't have a username or password that's right just click cancel ignore that And that's it. I just hit cancel, cancel, ignore pretty much. And now we disconnect. Okay. So it didn't look like we did very much, but I dis after doing that, I clicked use for development, hit cancel, cancel, just ignore that stuff. And we'll show you what we have here now. Very neat. Okay. So I'm going to do the four finger swipe. And usually this is something to get to our multitasking bar. We need to do the double click. And here we have our bar. But we don't have to do that anymore. Just use your four or five fingers. Swipe up. And we have our apps. So let's go ahead and do that. Click one of our apps. Ah, see what I did there? I easily switched from this program, Quick Office, right over to Pages. Just by doing a swipe over. How easy is that versus double click, select, double click, select, simply swipe. Now this is the one all the way, this is our first app that's open, so we try and swipe right. It gives us a little bit of a, a, a non-jiggle, uh, whatever that is. But we easily just switch between our apps just like that. Now instead of hitting, without needing to hit the home button, here's what we can do. Just pinch, make it go away and we're back at the home screen. Again, bring it up. Easy app switching, just like that. 